Welcome to the show, everybody. It is me, Ryan, and this is episode 39 of Making It Up As We Go. Welcome. Happy Easter, everybody. Uh, it's Saturday night and a show that wasn't supposed to be, but turns out uh, we had to cancel our plans to go down to the uh, on-location location, and uh, so we stayed home and I was able to do the show this week. And so joining me this week, we still have Mr. Sean. Hey, hey, hey. Good evening and happy Easter. And happy Easter to you, sir. And we have Mr. Paul Corliss. Howdy. How you doing? Hey, doing well. Doing good, well. Good, good, good. So, uh, yeah, it, uh, um, Mr. Hammerquist uh, is, won't be joining us this evening because uh, he was uh, out beating a tar yeah. out of little children playing laser tag. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> you got to show those kids who's boss once in a while. Ah, oh, good times. Um, so hopefully he'll be back next week and we can hear all about the blasting of small children with laser beams. <laughs> so good times. Ah, well, let's, uh, let's get into it. Uh, what's going on with the panel this week? Uh, uh, Mr. Corliss, did you get a chance to work on any projects or anything? I did, but Ooh. but it was uh, good old old fashioned woodwork. All Ooh, that trellis. I can't even hardly see it. It's a little trellis I, I made understand. for a potted plant. Cool. And it's about from the bottom rung to the top rung is about eighteen inches. So it's okay. not real big, but. That was my hey. whole project for the oh, whole good. week. Hey. Good deal. It's and, needed. Uh, I mean, obviously you haven't finished yet because it should be in the plant right now. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the extent of my shop time this week. Hey, it gets that way. I understand that. Uh, how, how about you, Sean? What have you been up to? I've uh, been playing a little catch up with the orders, but other than that, yeah. Uh, Nothing, nothing different. Yeah, this week. train show went good though. So you getting some orders from that. Yeah, nice. Yeah, catching up now on what I what I like to do is I run my laser and my CNC router separate. That way, I don't pull a lot of power from the shop. And uh, so this weekend has been running CNC projects, which are usually right. the triple modules. Get those done so I can have them shipped out Monday. Very good. Very, very good. Get them done. Oh, oh, yep. See there. Look, there's, there's Mr. Paul right there. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up for us. I appreciate it. Thank you, Paul. We'll see you next week, buddy. Um, yeah, yeah. He says he's number one and undefeated. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Get after it. So good deal. Um, uh, for, for me, I, it's been kind of a busy week here um, with projects and stuff. Uh, when I released that video um, at the beginning of the week uh, on the um, uh, upgrading the um, ex exhaust stuff on the uh, laser. Um, so, yeah, it was fun. It really cool. that it turned cool. out really good. I'm really happy with those. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I've been... Uh, talking to some other people that have uh, um, lasers around this size, you know, for their exhaust and all that to see if they're, uh, you know, confirming that the spacing on those holes is all the same on all of them. <laughs> so I, I think, uh, you know, I can, I, I probably can produce some for some people if they wanted them. Um, uh, and that, what that is, it's a disconnect, a quick disconnect for the exhaust. Um, so it's, uh, it works out pretty well. Uh, it's been working good on, on this one. I did, that's my little test piece that I did, um, oh, cool. after I did the exhaust and it's the logo in a star Wars font, I was scratching it right there. That's why it's a lighter color right there, but, uh, it turned out pretty good. Um, and then, uh, uh, and then I released a video this morning on, uh, on, on the, Controversial uh, bull bit saga. So, working on that and and uh, 
and all that. So it's uh, it's been kind of a busy week here for projects. I, I'm I'm going to have to admit the the best part is when you walked outside the back and you held your hands up and you said I was right. <laughs> well, my hands are falling down. <laughs> That was good. I'm a one take Charlie. I don't mess around. <laughs> ah, didn't need that. It just leave it in. That was good. Yeah, it's fun. I like having a little bit of levity in my videos. Well, even the dogs came in. I did, did the intro, and dogs were coming down the stairs, and I was just like, "Well, that's that one. <laughs> They're in the video this week." <laughs> so. Sometimes those are the best. Yeah, yeah. The, and mommy wasn't home, so uh, I, I was the uh, head treat giver uh, of that day when I was filming. So it, uh, yeah, they, they, they were coming hunting me down for them. No, but, uh, but yeah, so it was, it was fun. Um, but yeah, besides that, right at the moment, not a whole lot else going on project wise. I got a, um, I got some stuff I need to get done, but, uh, you know, we'll get on it and go. Um, I, I was actually working today, uh, as well on putting a uh, universal G code sender on my raspberry Pi, um, which I need to mess with that some more. Um, I, I got it to load onto the raspberry Pi, which was easy. It was insanely easy, a lot easier than what I thought it was going to be. Um, and then, uh, um, but when I turned it on, like it, it's not loading the full screens. You know, if you run over it with your mouse, all of a sudden stuff starts showing up on the screen and all that. And I'm like, all right, well, that's not awesome. Mm. <laughs> like, well, the, well, that, that doesn't work right. So I, I have some other stuff I got to look at to, to get it working right and, and all that. But uh, it'll be all right. Um, I want to do that because uh, if you watch the video from today, you can see that uh, um, Mr. David Krause uh, was kind enough to send me his old uh, um, spindle that he was using on his machine. And uh, um, so we're, we're trying to get it all hooked up and, and, uh, and moving. Um, but, uh, but to do that, I, the B, C, and C, I didn't think would work real well with the spindle stuff. So trying to, trying to up the game a little bit on that. So... Um, yeah, fun fun times. Um, let's see here. What else we got going on? Oh, hey, uh, you know, there's something is now 27 days away. Makers rock, people. Come on, the only the only one currently showing as being signed up to do Makers Rock. I need a link. I need to figure out how to get in there. Makersrock.com. Yeah. Okay. So far. Mr. Hammerquist is the only one that signed up for this year. Matt's not even signed up for himself. No. <laughs> get on it, Matt. Mr. Haas isn't even signed up for his own challenge yet. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's yeah. all right. Uh, it's fun just to give him a hard time. So, yeah. So, Makers Rock. Um, so, you're making the album covers uh, out of whatever materials that you want to. Um and then uh, everybody posts the videos on the same day, on April 26th. And then uh, um, you give away the art uh, in whatever method that you choose. So uh, if you want to make something cool and, uh, and give it away on a video, uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, Matt's got all the cool stuff over there, a um, bunch of marketing materials and stuff like that already. Uh, everything's all ready to go for you. All you got to do is just make something. So um, get on it. Get over there. I've been looking for an album cover. I'm having a really hard time finding in the album cover that I want to pretend that I'm going to do this year. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, uh, I've, hopefully I've I got my eyes that. on one. I've got my eyes on one, but it's not going to be as extravagant as last year's. Yeah, well, good. last year's yours was was very extravagant. Yeah, and anybody that hasn't seen the video on that know. definitely should go check it out because it's uh, that 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 was a that was a great piece. Uh, very good. When you, can, when you can put 
Well, I, I had to practice what I preached. <laughs> Being able to use three D printer, uh, actually both resin and FDM laser and CNC router. I believe yeah. I accomplished. It. Yep. Yeah, it was awesome. So. It was um, fun. Uh, as always, uh, also, um, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll check in here with, uh, um, our buddy, uh, Hamilton Delbeck with CNC with me. Um, I do the, uh, um, the podcast CNC with me podcast every other week on that, uh, on his platform over there. And, uh, um, this week's show is about Easter and like, quick Easter projects that you could do before to knock them out over the weekend and stuff like that. Um, they're, they're actually doing a, a, a weekend challenge right now, um, which is a, it's called the weekend warrior challenge and you can win 120. Well, it's a hundred pound, a hundred, hundred British pound um, a gift card at the, uh, um, I forget what the name of the company is over there. Ren Rennie, I believe it's Rennie tools. Hold on a second. Let me check. Do, 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 do. Yes, Rennie Tools. So it's a hundred pound, which is about one hundred and twenty-five dollars, and you have to make a, an original toy and submit it. And when you submit it on in the group there, um, the one that gets the most likes is going to be the winner. So and it's only for the weekend. So as hence weekend warrior challenge. So uh, jump in there. If you're a member, if you're not a member, go to CNC with me, uh, dot com and, and join up. It's a pretty cool group over there. Um, you know, it's a, it's a big, uh, big community. Um, what are, how many we have? Let me, let me, let me just tell you how many people are, have joined in over there. Um, let's see here. See if it tells me now. Uh, it, it's, it's over 700 people now. I mean, it's, it's a lot of people. I don't see it. Where is it at? Uh, 703 members right now. So pretty awesome. Uh, That's really good. Yeah. So if you're interested, go check it out. Um, but all right. Well, let's uh, let's get moving here and uh, and see what we've got going on here. Let me pull down Maker's Rock. We'll stop on that again before the end of the show. And uh, there we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Started to hear about Hamilton's power issue. Yeah. I thought when, when he started that video, I thought it was a joke <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was just going to do like a CNC out in the field with a, um, with a power box or something. And, uh, and, and then it's like, Nope, it line got cut. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good at all. So, but, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll, he'll get it sorted out here pretty soon. So there you go. Yeah. I don't I, think that's going to be a cheap fix for him. Look at that. Co Cody, yeah. you, you little, scrawny, out of hell. little scrawny bastard. <laughs> I weigh like twice what Cody does. He's, he's, he's a thin guy. Uh, but you know what though, Cody, I actually can't eat meatloaf. I, I guess if you made it with turkey, I could, but I can't eat beef meatloaf because um, I'm allergic to beef. Go figure. No, you're allergic. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, when I was uh, in the, it, it started. It's from a tick bite. Turns out, um, I, I when I was in the army, um, I uh, you know we're out playing in the woods all the time. Um, doing training and stuff like that. And you get ticks on you all the time. Uh, and uh, I didn't get Lyme disease, which is the more common thing to get. But uh, but I got this thing. It's it's called, it's alpha something or other. I forget what it's called. Uh, but uh, um, it turns out, you know, and evidently I don't have it as bad as some people. Um, I can't eat beef and I can't eat, uh, I can't eat anything like, if you slice a, a pepperoni pizza and then slice my pizza with whatever I happen to have on it, usually cheese because that's what anybody else will eat, um, it'll make me sick. Like That takes in, away half the junk food in the world. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, just imagine how yeah. fat I'd be if I was still eating steak, man. I'd be huge. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a mo absolute monster. I mean, I'm a monster now, but uh, I'd be an alpha. Yep, alpha gal. That's right, Harry. Yep, there you go. Uh, but alpha you can have gal. pork, right? Yeah, I can eat pork. I can eat fish and all that other stuff. I, I, but I can't eat red meat. Um, I've never uh, since this has happened, and, and at the time I was down in Fort Bragg, and um, and then when I moved back up here, I get asked by my wife's family all the time about deer, and I'm like, you know what? Uh, I I didn't mind deer when I, you know, back in the day, but I'm not going to find out at this point. Like it's been since '97, so it's been, you know what 26 years or something like that since the last time that i had a steak so uh yeah we don't uh we don't need to worry about even trying that and, and then my my son's like oh well you know they have these impossible burgers and stuff and i'm like i i don't i don't remember what beef tastes like anymore so like it, there's no reason for me to eat that because i don't if i was just happening now sure i'd give it a try but I don't remember what it is, what it tastes like anymore after twenty something years. So, so you can't um, eat hot dogs. Uh, yeah, uh, the the pork and oh, chicken pork ones. Yeah, chicken ones. Yeah, yeah. But not the all beef. Yeah, all the all beef one. Oh no no no. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. What so happens if you do? Oh, like instantly, it's in one end, out the other. Really? Like oh, wow. within within minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean it. The last steak I had, I mean, I know this isn't uh, part of what we're here for, but uh, the last steak I had was at a place called O'Charlie's down in in, uh, in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And uh, um, I wasn't even halfway done eating it, and I was getting sick. And then I was like, ah, this is what it is. I'm not eating it anymore because it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, look at this. This well, is, this you know, I don't, I don't feel so bad about sharing this now. Yeah, Ooh, it's good. They're pork ribs. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'd have felt good. bad if it was beef. I sent that picture. Oh no, no, I, I, I don't care. I mean, my, my son for dinner had a steak. So, yeah, that, that's well, that's a good looking nice. piece right there. Oh, very that, good. It was, it was awesome. That was good. So that was that was our dinner tonight. Yeah. So you can't have two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions no. on the sesame seed. <laughs> yeah. no, no, sir. Even though there's like this much beef in that, <laughs> most of that is a soy patty. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no. Uh, yeah. Can't. Nope. Can't do it. So. Uh, oh, I'll uh, take that Jerry. burger minus the meat, please. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry wants to hear about the uh, the car that was in the video. Uh, that, that's my, I, I wish I had a, a picture available for it. I mean, I have a, I mean, it's on, um, here, you know, it, it's on the, my screensaver there. You can kind of see it. That is a 1975 Zagato Zili. It's an Italian car made by the house of Zagato. Um, they do mostly stuff for, um, they're, they're still in business now. Um, they do most stuff is, uh, um, uh, for like, uh, um, Alfa Romeo and stuff like that. They, they do a lot of design work for some high end cars. Uh, and in the seventies, they decided to build their own. And instead of all these wonderful, curvy, beautiful cars, they came out with this brick and, <laughs> and simple. Yeah, yeah, it uh um so then uh uh you know it, it's it's insanely small. Um it, it's a factory electric car. So, you know, it, it, they were bringing it out during the oil crisis in the 70s. Um y yes, Jerry, yes, a golf cart is bigger than than this car. Um this car, if you know what the smart the little smart 42s that are out yep. there this car is 14 inches shorter in wow. length than that. Now, uh, how many of those did they make? Very many? Less than 500. They don't have an exact number, but it's less than 500. 
Is there, uh, there's a lady out there. She did the. Uh, she took a Tesla and turned it into uh, a pickup. Samoy, yep. I believe her name. Yeah, is. yeah, yeah. Okay, she also has one of those cars too. No, I think. no, no she has not? a city. She has a. Uh, it gets confused with that one all the time, um, okay. but uh, that that is called a city car. Uh, and it was one of the names that it went by back in the day, but uh, they actually made like three or 4,000 of those cars. Um, but yeah, it looks like a block of a wedge of cheese. And so, um, yeah, you, you actually like sit down in those, but this one you sit like in, it's like driving a single cab truck um, because you know, the rear end is, you know, right behind your head. Uh, but it's a, it's a really cool car. Um, it just, I need to, put the rear end back together and, and drive it around. Um, but, uh, it's it, like the, most of the parts on it are from a Fiat 500. Um, oh, that makes it the, easy. the old school Fiat 500. So yeah, it, it, there, there's some really funny articles about them from the seventies, like in road and track and stuff like that. People were, um, they were testing them out and they would either break immediately <laughs> Um, or they would be taking them around 90 degree turns at about 30 miles an hour, <laughs> like street corners, <laughs> you know, you know how, like, yeah, you got to drive and you got to like slow down almost to a complete stop to hit a 90 degree corner. Well, not in these things because the, it, the whole bottom is battery. So you got like 500 pounds underneath of you and, uh, and then, you know, you're hitting it and just whoop, just zipping along Those all lead acid batteries yeah yeah back in yeah i i can literally touch the um uh, the headlights and the tail lights at the same time <laughs> i mean that that's how short it is I mean, it's it's insanely small uh i i got it it was a it was in a customer's uh garage uh for years and and originally it was brought over here for the university of Maryland and they used it for a while. Um, it has about 2000 kilometers on it. Uh, the rear ends were notoriously bad. And so at about 2000 kilometers, the rear end went out on this one. And so then they put a, some sort of golf cart rear end with a forklift motor, um, in it and, and, but never got it back working again. And so I, uh, now that I have it, I've, I've repainted it. I stripped it down. It was like painted white with house, white house paint. And, uh, um, I mean, it was, it was pretty bad. It looks a lot better than what it did now, but it's a lot of fun. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I need to get that thing back on the road. So, but yeah, that, that, that's my toy. <laughs> One of them anyway. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I got it mainly. The, the main thing I wanted to do with it was to take it to like the home shows and stuff like that. And because it, it's in it, it's a huge attention grabber. You know, you, you take it in somewhere and people are just freaking out over it, going, What the heck is this? And it's like, Well, you'll never see another one. Like, there's, I, I started a group on Facebook for them, and I think there's, there's less than 10 that we've been able to find. You know, in in, in the That's United fair. States. So, yeah, there was there was less than five hundred of them made, and there's uh, you know, less than ten that we've been able to locate here in the United States. And one guy that I know, um, his his name also is Ryan. Um, he lives down in North Carolina. He got his within like a, a couple days before mine. I got mine. Um, he pulled his out of a uh, out of the woods. And then sold it to somebody in Amsterdam, so it's not even in the United States anymore. Wow. But, uh, but yeah, but yeah, they're they're cool little cool little cars. Ah, oh, yeah. So anyway, um, <laughs> more, more, more lights work on the car than on that scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't tell you that you're lying. <laughs> but there's more metal in the scoreboard than there is in that car. car. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I started up actually. I originally I had the videos that I've done on that car on my on my YouTube channel, um, but I've moved them over to a different channel because, I mean, nobody watches my videos now, but they watched even less of the car stuff. Um, so, uh, I, I, I started up a, uh, uh, a YouTube channel called uh, shit with wheels, 
Um, and uh, the the I is an exclamation point. Um, and that's where those videos are. Um, but uh, no, nobody's watched them over there either, but that's where they are. Um, but I, I like documenting it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, so if you want to see, see a little bit more of that thing, go over there and check it out. Um, but all right. Well, let, let's get started on some uh, of what we're actually here for. And uh, let's, uh, um, let's start with, with, oh, here, let me get rid of Dwayne here. There you go. Move Dwayne out of the way. Uh, back back here with the uh, um, the Versapod from CNC Adventure over there with Mike. Um, you know he's got the Kickstarter going on. Oh, here let me do this for us so we can all see what's going on. Um, where is that at? So I was checking it out and I'm 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 sad. I, I'm actually getting kind of sad. So he's uh, got 17 days left to go and only eight backers. So he hasn't had any additional backers in the past week on, um, on this thing. Um, and I really thought this thing would do really well. You know, people like the vacuum tables. I was watching just today. Two Moose Design put out a video about doing a vacuum table. And the challenges that he was talking about with that vacuum table, I was like, wow, they, those are all solved with with the Versapod um, because he was talking about how you could, you had to be really careful because you couldn't cut all the way through the wood because then you'd cut into the, the vacuum table and then you're screwing stuff up. And with the Versapod one, you're not because the, your workpiece is actually elevated. And uh, so um, I was, uh, I, you know, kind of, kind of sad that it's, it's not doing really good on the, uh, on, on, kickstarter so i i hope he if it doesn't go i i hope it uh he he tries it again or 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 makes whatever changes in the feedback that he needs to to get this thing to to go because i think it would do really well so so now on, on the kickstarter does he have to meet his goal yeah this one to... yeah as you can see here it's it, this one's an all or nothing so um either if he doesn't reach his fifty thousand dollar goal, um, it'll the project is only funded if it reaches the goal by the seventeenth of April. So if not, then the money all goes back to the people, the, those eight people that that were backers for it. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'd really like to see this thing go though. I think it, would, yeah. you know, anybody that's doing, especially like batch work, like what Mike does. Um, watching some of his other videos, like they do the charcuterie boards and all that stuff. It's real easy just to pop it in there and go. And, yeah, and uh, the yeah. other cool thing is that the work, it sits above your table. And yeah. And he's got some specialty bits too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I have a picture of those in here. Um, where are they at? Yep, right, right there. These Versapod bits, um, which they cool. these are cool because they will chamfer the top and bottom at the same time i was like how cool is that in which you could do because you're just you know it, it's all elevated already you don't even have to pull it off um mm -hmm. if you had one of those tool changers from quick change you could have those bits right in there and just, you know you, you wouldn't even have to touch anything you wouldn't have to even bother changing the bit that'd be pretty sweet so uh, well, we'll keep an eye on it and and uh, and see what happens with that one over the the next couple of weeks, and hopefully it'll uh, it'll hit the um, stream of people that needs to see it to get that thing going because that would be a, I think that's a cool product. Um, it's not for everybody, obviously, um, but uh, anybody that's doing production work with their CNC, yeah, I I I, I see that that is a a really great idea, you know, for vacuum tables. So, uh, good deal. Um, all right. Well, so after the Versapod, um, oh, so there's been some interesting news here with the uh, with bamboo. It's not bad news though this time. Um, so uh, where's he at? Where's he at? He's in here. There you go, loyal Moses. 
So, Lord, this uh, uh, this video was kind of it was a good video. He, he he's a really good video person, um, but he he does a lot of of uh, well, he does all three D printing stuff. Um, but he uh, he was talking about that bamboo is actually reducing the prices of the A one Mini. Um, now they they've dropped it by fifty bucks. And, uh, um, but that's, this that's video, a permanent, that's yeah, a permanent yeah, drop. yeah, it's not a sale. It's a, it, it's a price drop. Yeah. Um, but this Very video nice. was more on other projects than, than the a one. Um, he made these eggs for Easter and they have the way that his son modeled them, which I thought was cool. Um, but like it, uh, it, it has like a weak point, weak seam as it's building it. So as you're, as it's making the egg, you stop it, put some stuff inside of it, not chocolate because chocolate will melt because everything's hot inside there, <laughs> but put whatever else you want in there and, and hit go and, and it'll continue to make the rest of the egg. And then, you know, you can pop it open, break it open. So pretty, pretty sweet idea. I thought that was cool. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, um, Oh, What's that? Even I fail at printing on occasion. It is. Oh. It's hot. I mean, just, yeah. It failed. <laughs> yeah, that, that failed pretty good. Yikes. I'm glad I caught it. Mm. Oh, bummer. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so here, here's, uh, here's the email that I got from Bamboo on this. Uh, well, here, we'll go to this one first. Um, so yeah, so they reduced the price of the A1 Mini by itself to 249, um, and they've also done a uh, firmware update on it. Um, I guess it's supposed to be able to do more of the air printing detection. Um, I guess uh, from the the pressure, it can tell the pressure that's coming out of the nozzle, and if it's like free flowing and not you know having the resistance of being up against another piece it uh it'll it's supposed to detect that is how i'm assuming that that works um it's a build plate detection i don't know what that is uh thoughtful reminder beginners ensures a plate is set before avoid oh oh so oh so it, it, it's it i guess it's telling telling you hey make sure you put a build plate on there dummy <laughs> Nozzle clumping, uh, SD card remote browsing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, delete print stuff. Uh, yeah, so some of the stuff. Uh, and But the cool part is, is that you can do four color printing with the Mini now with the AMS light for $399. So that's even, that's $60 Thank off you. of the, the combo. So that's pretty cool. Um the uh you know and we, we were also talking recently about the about bamboo in general um about their problems that they were having with the a1 um which was if you don't remember what was happening is that they had to do a full full course recall on the things um because of the where the mm -hmm. uh, power cord comes out of the back mm -hmm. they were having pinched wires and stuff like that and uh um so I, I thought it was pretty interesting. I I've, I pulled up the um, the latest of their blog, and they're still saying it's uh, like the end of May. So, but I this is what I found interesting. So I went on Bamboo's website, and if you see here, you know, up in the upper right hand corner, it says that we're in the USA market for this, right? And it says it's available around May. Um, now. If you go up and, and if you click on that USA thing, you get a drop down box of other areas of the world. It, all of them, except for global, show the same thing that the USA one does. But if you live in Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, China, you can get an A1 right now. <laughs> They're available. And I thought that was interesting. It's like, are, are they still sending out the original style ones or or what is what's being sent out there 
maybe they don't care if stuff burns down there. Well, yeah, they're probably the regulations in those areas probably yeah. aren't as as stringent. So they'll just they're they're, they're probably selling the existing stock to the, <laughs> the you know here or there rather, and uh, um, you know. Hey, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> You're not going to be able to come after them as a company, I guess. But yeah, so I thought that was pretty pretty interesting that available around May, unless you live in China, <laughs> and then you can get one right now. <laughs> so <laughs> pretty wild. Um, uh, oh, uh, also with along with this email that I got from them on that, uh, I did see something pretty cool. Uh, you can now get the, like, uh, they, they were doing something in the A1s where you get like a, a kit, a, a little maker kit that went with it. And a lot of them were like, it was a, a clickable mouse and you printed out the outsides, but they gave you the electronics for the insides of it or whatever. Um, they have this now. Check this out. It's a mini A1 wireless charger <laughs> okay, that's fun isn't that cool i thought this thing is awesome uh so you you get the electronics for it and for the wireless charging now it, it's 45 dollars, and it for a charger that's pretty expensive um however it does some cool stuff so uh, so here's here's the parts that you get uh, you get a gear motor, you get the charging circuit, some LEDs and buttons and stuff like that. Uh, and the screws that go in with it too. Um, the, uh, but what's really cool is that when you put your phone onto the build plate and charge it, mm -hmm. the gantry will go up and down. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering so what the motor was for. That's cool. Yeah. So, so you can uh, you can set it. There's like four different ways that you can set it. Um, you know, lights will come on or whatever. But when you when it starts charging, the 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 gantry will, will come down. The Z axis will come down and then go back up. And uh, you know, it, one of the modes it'll just keep going up and down, and lights will fluctuate and stuff like that. But um, so you can go actually go on to Maker World. I put the links to all this stuff in the in the description as usual. Um, but you can uh, you can print this thing out um, from Maker World now if you wanted to, but it just wouldn't do anything. Um, but uh, I thought that was so <laughs> I really want one, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not spending forty five dollars on a charger. Um, but then they also, besides this one, they actually have a second version too, uh, which is this one, uh, which they call Air Force uh, Command Center or something <laughs> like that. Awesome. And so the, the satellite dish at the top rotates as it's, uh, as it's charging and stuff like that. So I thought okay, that was I, I kind of cool. like, personally, because I'm a sci-fi guy, I like this. I really like this. Wow, yeah, I thought awesome. that was pretty cool. Yeah, I like that, the radar gun. Yeah. That so cool. How yeah, much so, is that one? $45? Yeah, 45 bucks for it though. That's the problem. It'd be I, I wouldn't mind if uh if Bamboo Lab I know they don't want to send me any printers, but why don't you send me a charger? <laughs> <laughs> Let me put that little sucker together. <laughs> do they offer the files for free or do you have to Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you go over to uh, Maker World. The, the the links are down in the description for them, uh, and and it'll take you right there. And you can you can print it all out, even if it doesn't, uh, if, even if you don't want it to move. And I know what Sean's going to have next week. Yeah, there, yeah. there's there's a few of us geeks that have probably most of that that equipment that it that shows. Yeah, so pretty pretty cool though. I thought that thing was really neat. Uh, pretty funny. Hey Sean, if you really if you really want to do something, make one for Ryan. <laughs> I he's got he's got the printer. Mine's kind of failing. You sure you want me to, to print it right now? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, I need a bamboo. Yeah, I, I talk, Cody was talking about one. He needs one in his life. Yeah, I'm right yeah. there with you, Cody. Hey, hey, Sean. When you have a second, can you go? Um, uh, 
go, go into go into YouTube and, and pull up a, a copy to or a, I'm sorry, a link to shit with wheels for me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that uh, Al's asking for it, uh, a link to okay. it and I can't do it while I'm doing this stuff. I get a little we'll, glitchy, but we'll get you the link there, Al. <laughs> so yeah, it uh yeah. Yeah, Bam- Bamboo's been sending pr- printers to laser and seeing guys. None for him. Not, none for me either. So don't feel bad, Jerry. It, uh, I, I, I can't even get him to return an email because with questions <laughs> I have. <laughs> but I'm like, I got some, I got one of them right here. <laughs> I have a question for you. So, but uh, but good deal. Um here we go. All right. So uh, l- let's keep on moving here. So uh, some of the other interesting things that have been going on. Um, you know, we don't talk about Jay Bates very often in, on here, but uh, uh, today, well, I guess recently he's he's moving. So he's, he's got like a 30 by 40 foot shop and him and his family have decided to move uh, closer to family and I guess they're they're a couple hours away from family right now, so they're they're looking to get some some property and 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 all that. And so he just sold his four by ten, um, uh, um, whatever that one is. What Avid, yeah, Avid, Avid CNC. And he sold it to Greg Goddard of STL Woodworking. So um, oh, I got oh. to talk to Greg a couple weeks ago on on the CNC with me podcast. So. Good guy. He was getting ready to go pick this thing up. And uh, that's a beast of a CNC. <laughs> that thing's huge. Whew. So so there you go. Yep. There it is. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, yeah, he's packing up. His whole shop's empty now. Everything's, like, in containers and stuff, and they're ready to roll. Um, I think correct, even correct, his, me if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't he just get his place like a couple years ago? Where yeah, is that I, now? Evidently, he's been there for five years. Is what he said. Ah, okay. oh, doesn't yeah. feel that yeah. that long. So now they're they've moved over to um, uh, like to where I, I I'm assuming that they've actually moved now because it, it there there's a shot at the end of this video here where he's doing a talking head type thing. And it looks like he's in a camper, like the 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 background you reminds me of camper. So um, I think uh, I think they're what the, what he was saying in his last one of his last videos is that they're moving out to you know wherever closer to his his uh, closer to family, and they're staying they're going to be living in their camper for a while, mm-hmm. and uh, they're going to build a was um, a forty by sixty build it no maybe 60 by 30 or something like that, whatever it is it's as big as what he's got now. And half of it's going to be wood shop and half of it, they're going to put the camper into and live in while they're doing other stuff. So um, sounds like things are, are moving forward for him. So content over there is going to change, but you know, it'll be interesting. I'm sure. Very cool. Um, I ran across this video the other day, and I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, not necessarily the video itself. Uh, like, if you're gonna watch this video, if you if you don't, if you want to get down to the meat and potatoes, skip about halfway through it. Um, but what it is is he's found that he he's using a new CAD program, and that CAD program is uh, it's called Plasticity. Uh, did I, I don't think I, nope, I didn't save the, uh, um, there's, I have a link for it down in the description like usual. Um, but it's a different, um, CAD program and he talks about it a little bit in, in this video. Um, the first half of this video, he's talking about his journey of moving from one CAD program to another. And now he's landed on plasticity. Uh, and, uh, it looks like it's pretty cool. I, I watched a couple of videos on it. Um, I haven't downloaded it yet. Uh, the cool thing about it is with all the other, these other, um, you know, even fusion, 
yes, you can use the mm -hmm. hobby license, but you can, there's also like paid licenses on there. Um, with plasticity, the, they have a free one for like 30 days or something like days. that. But then it's 150 bucks and you own it. And uh, um, so I, yeah, I'm going to probably program, download the program it, yeah. on your computer. Yeah. So, it, yeah, it's, it's wow. not a cloud based thing or anything like that. Yeah, it's all local and uh, and should be. It looks pretty cool. Um, I, I'm probably going to download it this week and uh, and check it out um, if I have time. So um, check that out and see if uh, see if you like it and see if it's something that you want to do. Um, next one we'll talk about here is I love this dude. This uh, the, the I don't know where he's from, but proper printing. Dude, one dude's got a hell of a beard. <laughs> very good beard but i mean we look we could almost here look we could almost be brothers <laughs> like like you're the way older brother yeah yeah i'm the way older brother yeah well, that's how it is with my with my brothers i i'm 10 years older than all of that than the closest one so it uh um but yeah he's Built a really cool. He, I guess it's taken him several months to build this thing, but uh, it, it's like it's better than an IDEX printer because it completely two full independent heads, three D printed heads moving around and stuff. And uh, um, he's showing you how he made it. And like the his his uh, um, his plate is a griddle. <laughs> I thought that was cool. I mean, that part. What was that? Oh, that is just wicked. Yeah. That? Yeah. That's, it's, I it's didn't catch that part. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a good video. I, I, I liked it. He, he, he makes some really cool stuff. Um, and like he, he's made his own extruders before and all that. Um, if I'm not mistaken, well, the, the framework that he has here, like for his gantries, those are three D printed, if I'm not mistaken. Those are beautiful. But Those he's got, cool. like, but he makes them like tension trusses. So there's actually like a piece of line that goes through them, and and he keeps them in tension, and uh, and it makes them pretty strong. So it's uh, yeah, uh I, I got the part where he could take the gantries and also kick them over. Kind of yeah, like yeah, bag. kind of like make it almost into a belt printer. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so his next video should be pretty cool. It'll probably come out pretty quickly um, because he's already got the thing together now. Um, but uh, um, showing like some of the other stuff. So he, he got it together and got it operational, but it's not 100% operational at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, like with an IDEX printer, you can, uh, you know, they, they can both, you can have two heads and they can do the same movement at the same time or whatever to make the same part. But this one, he it, it's basically two 3D printers like, at the same time. Yeah. So you could you could do some pretty cool stuff with it, I think, in theory. So it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Um, he's a smart dude, very smart dude. So um, then there's uh, there's scripting grain. Oh, the peeps! Uh, I saw that one. Yeah, a real quick one. It's only a minute and a half long. Yeah. And and I left a nasty comment. Oh, the, the ones that she decorated her can with? Yeah, the, those three over there on the left-hand side, yeah. she, she threw them away. I'm like, what the hell are you doing throwing them away? Nothing you eat them. <laughs> you just lasered them. There's nothing wrong with it. People laser pies and all this other stuff. You should be eating the peeps. You should not be throwing them away. So, but uh, um, but okay, if you want to if you want to have some if you want to have some fun this Easter and you get some peeps, toss one in a microwave for about a minute. Oh yeah, so <laughs> yeah. So we we that's yeah. that's our ritual every year. Yeah, well, I guess that was some of what she was having issues with. She she tried a few different settings on them because you had to go through the sugar with one setting and then into the marshmallow with another one because if you went too high it would start expanding 
So that was a fun little uh, Easter uh, video to check out, though. Uh, and then, uh, and then for another fun video, Ultimate. So uh, this guy, he's only got like eight hundred something um, subscribers, but his videos are on point. Like they're they're really it was it was really well made. But he he's making a three D printed um, matchstick crossbow <laughs> 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 that lights the light, the matchstick as it flies out. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> Oh, did you already? I don't have a match. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. After this, I'll I'll print some other parts, but it's Sweet. pretty cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll get myself in trouble playing with that one. <laughs> no, um, and then uh, uh, of our normal stuff, the last one I was gonna bring up was wow, mine. Hey. Might as well um, have this one on here for a minute. So yeah, so the, this is the video the, the, that I just put out the, today um, on uh, Cadence Manufacturing and Bits and Bits having a very similar bit design. Cody's came out in January and Bits and Bits came out like a week ago, a week or two ago. And uh, I guess somewhere around that neighborhood. I don't know. I couldn't find um, much information on when they actually released that one, but, uh, it was at least a week ago, but, uh, um, yeah, I go through the process of getting the bit, um, ordering them like what, what the, the ordering was like between the two, um, because the bits and bits one is less expensive, uh, not, by, much, not, not much when you add in the, the, uh, shipping, yeah. um, and I mean, I didn't really see they the bits and bits wouldn't let you do anything other than well, they'd let you do like an overnight one that was like even more expensive. I was like, ugh, this one one bit's getting expensive for no reason, you know. I guess it's probably the same amount of shipping if you ordered a couple of them because it's really not changing the weight all that much, but uh, oh well. Um, but yeah, got them, got them in. We they uh and then did a little uh cut with them to see how they cut and if there was any difference in them did some eyeballing on them uh to see uh how close of a design they are so um if you haven't watched it yet i'd appreciate the watch and if you get tired of watching it just let it play in the background five or six <laughs> worth the watch I, I it's got dogs in it so it's worth the watch I mean, go, go, go watch it and, and see my dogs. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, uh, as, as the last video for the week, um, my now for something different, Tom Grassi. So I don't watch all of Tom's videos because he, he's a, he's a Packers fan um, for, and he does like uh, he does watch alongs with, football and stuff like that. And he does some other stuff, but his skit stuff is hilarious. I love it. Um, and, and I, I watch them all, uh, at this point, um, every time that they pop up. Um, but he, a lot of what he does is he, he, he has jerseys for every football team. Uh, and so they, and he, he's created like their own personalities for each football team. So, um, they're all talking to each other. Uh, you know, having conversations about different things. Um, and the one that he just put out was explaining some of the new NFL rules that are really confusing to a lot of people <laughs> and how they affect some teams and, and, and others and stuff like that. And, you know, the, the refs are excited because they get to throw more penalties and stuff like that. And, um, but he's, uh, he, he's, he's very funny. Um, and, and, and highly recommend, uh, Watching him, if you uh, like like football or anything like that, so he, it, it, it's a good watch. He does a thing, you know. There's been uh, um, uh, people saying in the last couple of years, they're like, "Oh, the NFL is scripted. Oh, yeah, you got it. Mahomes has got to get into the Super Bowl, so you know it's going to be scripted and blah blah blah." And here's what's going on. 
So Tom puts out a video every week on if the NFL is scripted. And so he has the script writer and, and then, uh, which he plays all the parts. Right. And, uh, so, and what's happening that week and, you know, people get mad at him or something like that. And then, so he's like, Oh, well, you know, it, he already knows you, you know, what's happened because he does it after the week of football is over. So like, uh, you know, the week one, he's making a comment, a comment about how, uh, you know, the, the jets are all excited about playing and he's like, well, you're going to be happy for four plays, <laughs> you know? And then and that's when Aaron Rodgers blew out his Achilles, you know, stuff like that. So it, it's, it's pretty entertaining to, uh, um, to watch. So recommend him, uh, to give him a check out. Mm -hmm. Uh, sweet. Uh, let's check out, uh, see if we got anything, any other comments or anything like that, that we need to check out and, and, uh, um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Kat, that, that was the one, yeah. The proper printing. We talked about that one. So that was, that was pretty, pretty awesome. Um, to do, 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 uh, yeah. Oh, if um if I'm missing some comments, it's because I'm talking and all that. But I do go back after the uh, show and and go through them all too, and uh, to to see see make sure I see them all. Blah blah blah. So I've seen uh, Cody has lasered all kinds of pies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say. That. There you go. I like I like pumpkin because it has that. that burnt pumpkin kind of it's good though yeah i i agree yeah um i i i've heard of somebody that is just pulled the trigger on one and uh, i can't wait to see that one show up in their shop so i'm sure they'll they'll say something about it when it, when it arrives to them too uh it it's really good <laughs> i mean I don't want to be a fanboy, but uh, as much as I'm a Cody guy, I'm a bamboo guy now too. I mean, I mm, they they do print good. So, uh, all right. Well, I think uh, we we've run over our hour there. Um, we might as well start wrapping her up and having ourselves a, a an Easter. Um, Sean, you got anything else for us this week? Anything you want to plug or anything? Klondike.com. Klondike.com. Especially if you're in the drains. I oh I am giving away mini modules with all orders. Should have oh, grabbed nice. the module. No. Um and then besides that, I know Paul's not here, but go check out Paul's website. Yeah, D Hammer Maker. Yeah. That's I love the hat. And it's one of those where when you turn it around, it looks good, you know? Yeah. yeah. Very good. We'll take it. Awesome. Um, how about you, Mr. Corliss? You got anything? Nope. Everybody have a happy Easter and uh, a joyous April Fool's Day. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes, mo most definitely. So, um, all right. Well. Uh, I think that was it for about me too. Um, you know, watch some videos. Maybe if you wouldn't mind, throw a like out there for us. We appreciate it. And uh, um, we'll see you guys all next week. Until then, peace out, sauerkraut. <laughs>